Okay, so this is going to be part three of making an Old West holster. Um, since the last video, I showed you guys how to glue it all together here. Now I uh, have chiseled most of the perimeter and I sewed the very bottom. And hard to see because I use white thread, but I got the bottom sewed up. I cut out my welt and glued that on and I got that chiseled too so I can connect it like that once I get the rest of the perimeter sewed. So I left just the very end here. I started chiseling there we go right there down this side and then this side that way it stays even on the main part down here at the bottom of the skirt where you're not going to see it as much if I have to have holes a little further apart or closer together to end it off it's no big deal so we're going to put this over and finish chiseling I'm using these flat chisels I think they were 4 millimeter. I got them off of Amazon I actually ended up getting three sets because I bought one and I really liked it but my four prong one of the prongs got boogered up and then uh, they had a good deal where you could get two really cheap so pretty good quality for the price weaver has better stuff but better a lot higher price tag and this will work just fine so what I'm doing here I'm going in putting the one tine in the previous hole and then the other one goes out and that's where you make your new hole so I'm actually only punching one hole at a time there's straighter stretches where I did four but it's too thick a leather to use six see how this looks I think I'm gonna take so here I got a wide gap but not wide enough so I'm gonna take a one prong to split the difference see looks pretty even you can't really tell so now the next step is to stitch the thing together now I'm using thread off of Amazon um, I don't even remember what the brand is just stuff had the best reviews it's supposed to be wax thread but it's not very waxy I didn't think so I had this thing of beeswax that I used to use for waxing my bowstring but now I use a3 archery strings on that so they don't need wax but anyway um, I just run the thread through that to wax it a little more. Then it slides through the leather a little better. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to start at the top, and I'm going to go all the way around the perimeter till I get to where I would fold it. That way I got the top or the bottom here sewed, and then all of this will be sewed. So I'm going to get that started, finish it off camera, and then I'll show you guys how to, I'll have to burnish these edges here and here before I fold it over and totally stitch everything. But I got to do my stitch line on all this first. So I'm going to show you guys how to get started with that. And then I will end off the video and start it again when I get to the point where I'm actually sewing the holster part together. So for this... I'm going to come in on the top on my line going down this way. I'm going to just pull one needle through and I'm going to take I got two needles on here, one on each end and you just pull them through. You don't tie a knot or anything. You want to even up your tails. Okay. So I'm going to pull that tight so I'm even as I can be. Now I'm going to run one needle through a hole, the next hole going down the throat. And I'm going to put the other needle through the same hole, make an X, and I'm going to pull that tight. Now I've got a homemade stitching pony that will speed up this process a lot. If you don't have a stitching pony, what I would do... You can sit down and put this between your knees to use it, or you can put one in, pull that tight towards you, and you take your other needle and go on the other side of that thread and pull that through. And once you get into a rhythm, you pull one through like that, 
and then bring the other one up the bottom side. Pull that through just a little, go through the next hole, and then pull, and then just keep repeating the process. And you can, once you get your rhythm going, you can eat up three or four inches of sewing a minute, which it still takes a while, but you can sew up something like this in half hour probably or less. And then when you're actually doing this part, when I'm going, I'll be going through five plies of leather there, that would be a little more time consuming, but nothing too terrible. So I'm going to move my homemade stitching pony here. I'll kind of show you guys what that looks like. So I'll try to get this. I'm not very good at doing selfie type work. But what this is... I got a little table here. I got two pieces of leather on the top. Just uh, glued on with the rough side out for gripping. And then on the bottom, I got a bolt with a nut so I can tighten it down. Now what I'm going to be doing is clamping that leather right here for sewing it. I got a hinge on the bottom on the one side and the other side is just screwed in solid. You can buy stitching ponies or find videos on how to make them that look better than mine. Function wise, I this one works just fine for what I do. But and with this you could actually do probably Two or three holes. I'm going to try three and just see how it goes. Just pulling it through part way. Through three. And then pull it tight. Okay, I think two would be better with this particular thread. But that will speed up your process a little too. So then you don't have to keep pulling out all the way every single time. So I'm going to do two stitches. Pull it tight, two stitches, pull it tight, you can snug it up real good on vegetable pan, if you're doing a non-holster project with chrome pan, you're not going to want to pull it quite as tight, but vegetable pan, I think your fingers would, if you got a good quality piece of leather, your fingers are going to bleed before you Pull that through your holes if the spacing's right. So that's what I will be doing for a while off camera is this. And when I get to a good point to uh, finish it and stitch the flap part together, I will make another video. So I think that's going to be it for this one. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.